Thank you so much, Chair. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Ramon Cruz, and I'm the president of the Sierra Club, which is the nation's largest and oldest environmental organization. I live in Brooklyn, New York, uh, but I'm originally from Puerto Rico. But uh, I'm very glad to be here in Nakotchank uh, land. Um, it is good to be here also in community, you know, with many of our elected officials and partners who are strong leaders and advocates for climate, labor, and environmental justice. But I'm not happy about the reason we are here today. So the reason we're here, as you know, is to urge the Postal Service to not move forward with its decision to purchase hundreds of thousands of trucks that will pollute our communities and harm our climate. And this is infuriating. It is indefensible. The U this USPS contract, contract is both dangerous and entirely preventable. I can't wrap my head around the fact that it's 2022 and we're having to argue for a common sense decision like replacing the outdated polluting mail fleet with electric vehicles built by union workers. This week, as you know, and many have said already, the new UN report by the world's foremost scientists affirmed, again, the imminent dangers of the climate crisis and its impact on our communities. Report after report, you know, the alarm clock has been going out for years now. And we can continue pressing snooze, you know, again and again. So too often our leaders aren't reacting as we need. We need USPS leaders to take decisive action and control over their vehicle fleet. This should be very easy, common sense, and a popular decision, actually. You know, how many reports do we need to wake us up? You know, to put the, the necessary investments into the solutions that exist today to address the climate crisis and create good jobs in the process. We can and should fully electrify USPS, but the USPS Board of, the, of Governors needs to reverse its decision to move forward with an archaic contract that would sign us more fossil fuel consumption for decades to come. So communities across the country should not have to suffer from a daily dose of truck pollution when they receive their mail. Mail truck drivers should not be exposed to toxic tailpipe emissions on their job. We can do so much better for our people and our climate. So over half a million people, including tens of thousands of Sierra Club supporters, are telling the Postal Service to fix this contract and ensure that they are manufactured by union workers. So you should really listen to them. Thank you so much.